many, many times over the years I've wanted to stop. The most recent time I thought I would give up was last Wednesday. I was racking my brain as to what I could do with my life. There's nothing else I can do, so I keep on doing it. I grew up in a place called Trowbridge in Wiltshire in England, and I couldn't wait to escape and do something fun with my life. My art teacher told my parents I could actually make a living from being an artist. So fortunately, they said, go for it. And then punk rock happened, and it made me realize that I could do something with my art. Punk rock was very much about DIY. It opened up the mind, expanded the mind as to the possibilities of what you could do. So 2001, I came to New York to work for Rockstar Games. In the evenings and weekends, I would start painting my own work. It's made from posters I've ripped down around the streets of New York from boardings and walls. So it's decaying walls with decaying posters and stickers and, and messages scribbled over the, the posters that I ripped down, you know? It's almost like archaeology. It's disappearing around New York. I'm kind of like, feel like I'm preserving a bit of New York history in a way. There's not really any conscious story that I set out to create with the artwork. The more I create it, the more I start imagining what could be happening in the story, but it's not contrived as such. But recently I've started putting like slight grid systems hidden in there, structures it, pulls it down, and a nice contrast of line and, and uh, circular movement. You gotta be able to take the criticism deal with any self-doubt. But this, this work just makes me feel alive. It makes me feel passionate. That I don't feel with anything else apart from my son. But that's a different form of, of passion and love, you know? <laughs>